this week on the 215. There's more than books at your local library. Then he's the founder of the biggest international hip hop TV show. Uh, it's with who? Who? Who Mag. A guy by the name of Rob Schwartz started this music website. It flourished, turned into a TV show, and a heck of a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Love the kid Capri. Y'all been on my show, man. Oh, there's the Grammy right there. He won the Grammy for best children's album. There's uh, MC Breed and Tupac. Gotta get George, you gotta get mine. Out of college, my first job was at Polygram Records. This is how distribution was back in the day. We, were, we just make photocopies. It's Jay-Z's first record. And I put out Jay-Z's first record, Blase Blase, Dougie Fresh, you know, The Damage, a lot of hip hop stuff. Danger record, right, here's Jay-Z right. right here. I was doing it just because I loved it. I was big into songwriting. When that didn't work and I was in a nine to five job, I just missed music. My favorite rapper I still never met. And it'll, it'll happen. Cool Mo D. I still met Cool Mo D. But I got bigger in the songwriting. Went to the West Coast, one of my boys, Mike, he worked with some of the baby faces artists, came back to the East Coast to look out for us, and we decided to take a different path. So I was leaving the job one day, it was on Water Street, and as I'm walking, there was a free show outside, and it was the Beat Nuts. And that was one of my favorite groups. So I'm like, I missed this. And that's what made me want to start the website. The very, very first interview we ever did. We kind of cheated back the back door. Uh, a guy that kind of mentored me a little bit when he was starting in the, the magazine, which never happened. He interviewed Randy Jackson from American Idol during season two. I'm like, can I use it for my website? He's like, I already sold it to Hits Magazine. I'm like, yeah, but did you sell the internet rights? He's like, what's that? I'm like, the internet rights? Yeah, it's something different. He's like, oh, I don't know. You want to give me a hundred bucks? <laughs> so I gave him a hundred bucks. And we started off as one of the biggest websites because it was the biggest talked about show was American Idol. What's the hottest new DVD magazine on the street? Mag. Now we had this DVD with all these interviews, all these celebrities. I had no idea what to do with it. Mag magazine. So I found this book at Barnes and Nobles with a bunch of addresses with all these distribution companies. I just mailed them out and it got picked up. So we became the first hip hop DVD ever in Netflix, Blockbuster, Walmart, Target. Um, we were in Sam Goody, we were everywhere. And this DVD that we made by mistake got so big overseas that we got reached out to in Europe to say, hey, this, shit, this DVD's so big out here, can you turn it into a TV show? Yo, what up? This is The Scientist, The Sound, Kwame, and you're watching Who Mag TV. We have three music TV networks, we have the video show, the dance music show, the hip hop show. I like to welcome everybody to the Who Mag movement. I left the day job in 2009. I started the music distribution company January 2010. I started the music distribution company because I had a rapper named Just Ice. He had an EP with KRS One. And he was looking for distribution. Yo, Chris, check this out. I said, hey, man, let me help you. I reached out to Sony because I had the relationship anyway. And next thing you know is I got, we had to deal with the orchard. And that's what started me off with Who Mag Distribution. He talks blah, blah, blah for the sake of blah, blah, blah. It's really not, not, not happening. Now, a lot of local artists I'm friends with, like, hey, Rob, you have distribution. Can you help us put this out? Yeah, of course. So here it is 13 years later, a 1,000 artists, 300 labels later. We still have a, a tedious process where we go through. We don't pick up everybody. You have to be referred. Like, a friend has to bring you in. It's all about the cosign, which the pop has always been. It's about the cosign. Everything that I do, I built. So when people are like, oh, you're so lucky this happened. No, I was. I didn't come from any money. My dad died when I was young. I, I don't have any family in the music industry. Everything I did, I did myself. Struggled through this. I lost everything twice trying to do this on my own. And it took me a while. And, even now, people say, hey, Rob, you still doing that music thing? I'm like, yeah. yeah. Who Mag is on all sorts of streaming platforms. You'll find him. Just look around a little bit. Or you can go to his website, which is whomag.net. I got to check out now, too, but I'll see you next week at 6.30 on Fox 29 for the next 215. And, of course, I'll see you in the morning on Good Day Philadelphia.